Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is the reading for November 4th. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer uh, private readings. I also offer, um, so I offer private readings either in person or on Zoom or telephone. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to move energy. And um, I have a lovely website, ripecolor.com. I have handmade t-shirts and scarves, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I have my book today, I won't forget. And everybody wants to know what I did with my unplanned day. So yesterday I went food shopping because when in doubt, I always go food shopping. I love food shopping <laughs> and I needed some things and I've been painting, I'm working on bandanas because I need more bandanas. Bandanas actually, I don't make much money on them. They're, they're so much more difficult because they're cotton and it just doesn't hold the color the way the silk does. But I'm working on them. So I'll have more bandanas up soon. I worked on some t-shirts. Well, I worked on t-shirts a while ago. So maybe today I'll get to photography, my favorite thing to do, as some of you know. But I did hear from somebody that I haven't heard from in a long time. And, you know, I'm a Scorpio, you know, so I get very sensitive. I really do. So I'm like, if you don't get back to me, you really hurt my feelings. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to call you again, you know. So anyway, somebody who shares my birthday, right? Birth date. I know quite a few people who share my birth date, which is odd. And um, my old textile professor from uh, uh, FIT, I went to FIT, which is Fashion Institute of Technology, state school. And um, so I heard from her. So we'll get together, you know, sometime after my birthday and her birthday. So that was really nice. That was really nice. Actually. So that happened last night at like 11 or something like that. Anyway, so. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. And I didn't forget the book this time. I, you know, I have it on the table, but it's such a, the color is, you know, if it were like bright blue or bright green, I would see it. All right. Enough chitter chatter, chatter chitter. I love going food shopping. I can't even tell you how much I love going food shopping. All right. And you know, I still have more to get. One, two, three. Oops. Oh. Okay. Uh, the Fool. Great. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. All right. So, a Fool's a great card. It's not always a great card. The Fool symbolizes the beginning of a journey, like a, a new awakening, uh, a new way, uh, like a new journey, a new um, outlook. Uh, he's very open-minded. He's extremely open-minded. Um, it's like you leave the house and it's like, well, am I going to make a right? Am I going to make a left? Am I going to go behind the house? Am I going to go forward? What am I going to do? I'm going to follow whatever bird comes along. It's like that. Um, so there's something in a way aimless about him, which isn't a bad thing, because without that, if he doesn't start the journey, nothing happens, right? So sometimes the fool can be a negative card, but not with these cards with it. I don't think so. And, I, you know, I generally don't see things negatively. Um, he's got his great little outfit. He's got his, it's such a profound card. It really is. White Rose of Innocence, right? The sun doesn't even have color. So it's, it's almost, to me, this is like a pre-born card. <clears throat> and then he has his, uh, this is his soul, basically. This is his soul, his companion, you know, his guardian, his guardian angel, right? Who comes through with him wherever he goes. And he's got his little bandana 
and he's got a fabulous little dress. I always, I, you know, this is a, this is FIT, right? <laughs> There's no seam. It's like, this was handmade. All right. <laughs> I think it's velvet. It looks like it's velvet to me. Silk velvet, naturally. Because when it's cotton, it's velveteen. It's not velvet. Okay. So begin anew, you know, new outlook, new opportunity, new uh, way to do things, to look at things, new uh, lay of the land in a way, looking at things with fresh eyes in a way. And then we have the lovely Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing and she's very um, practical. She's tremendously practical. Um, and she really, in a lot of ways, she symbolizes Mother Earth, not as much as say the Empress does, but she's, she also symbolizes Mother Earth. So she could be about food. She could also be about um, exercise, you know, something about the body. She's physical, right? She's also patient. All the queens are patient. So that's a really important thing to remember. It's like, sometimes I start something and it's like, well, I want it right away. <laughs> okay, that's nice. <laughs> Patience, right? Patience. It's a good day to start something. Right. It's a good day to start something. It's a good day to begin a new uh, way of doing things, a new diet, a new uh, uh, physical regimen. Uh, 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 maybe you're sleeping in a different way. Maybe you're uh, something like that, you know, or a new way to possibly make money. And then we have the four. So the four has, uh, you know, the cards evolve or I've evolved or whatever. So the four, you know, he's, I mean, somebody, he looks like he's dead, but he's not dead because you don't, if you die and your hands are like this, they'll probably do that, I would imagine. I mean, I haven't been dead that I remember. Um, <clears throat> the sparrows are very happy. Wow, quite a lot. So the four is about stability. So this is about like, in a certain way, it's also about um, quieting your mind, right? It's about quieting your mind and understanding the stability of your mind in a way. But it's also, it's a four, right? But look at this. Like the only, like this is, and, and in other decks, it's even less color. This is like the void in a way, because he's in another place. He's in another uh, dimension. And in that other dimension where it's sort of uh, nondescript, there's no color, there's no light, there's no, it's like he's sitting and contemplating or waiting or uh, allowing spirit, right? Because he's in the church. So th it's all symbolic. It's all symbolic, th these cards. So, but here he is, the light is coming through, right? So I feel like, look at that. This is so interesting. It's, it seems like it's a woman, right? With um, a child. So in a way, it reminds me of Guadalupe. I love Guadalupe. So in a way, it reminds me of Guadalupe. It's, um, and the energy of Guadalupe, for me, is that the child that's loved can do anything. So it's this energy today of, uh, you know, allowing spirit to nurture you, right? allowing spirit to nurture you on your new journey that you're going to be patient in, because I know you're very patient. I'm the most impatient person. I'm patient with people, but I'm not patient with things. Um, oh, somebody's here. Blessings. Oh, 
wrong person. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back. Uh, it's almost like you get the inspiration from spirit about how to start new. That's what it is. You're getting inspiration from spirit because you sat quietly. So sit quietly today and see what comes up. You know, you could just really ask and say, what would be for my highest healing and highest good for me to begin? That's it. See what comes up. And if you have an inkling, right? Maybe I should do this. Or someone calls and say, hey, you want to go to the gym? Uh, or uh, let's go eat something healthy together. Or like that. Oh, I, I, I can help you, uh, you know, paint your house. Because it's physical. There's a physicalness to it. So be open to messages, right? He's very open. And here he's actually going after the messages and receiving them. I would say receiving them. I'm going to throw one more. Yeah. A gift. Yeah, I could go to the past thing and this and that. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift, a gift of healing, a gift, a gift of nurturing, right? Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna do the book. Oh my, listen to this. Uh, <laughs> the great tragedy of life is not that men perish, it's that they cease to love. Wow. Okay. So it's about opening up your heart. And this is uh, W. Somerset Maugham. And he was a very famous playwright. He wrote some amazing stuff. Um, 1874 to 1965. He lived quite a long time. Great writer. Uh, Somerset, S-O-M-E-R-S-E-T. It's W dot Somerset. Uh, Maugham, M-A-U-G-H-A-M. -A -A very British. And that A-U-G-H comes in. It's very British. Um, yeah. The great tragedy of life is not that men perish, is that, is that they cease to love. It's almost as if ceasing to love is... Uh, almost worse than perishing, isn't it? My humble opinion. All right, so start something new. That's the message, start something new. That means I'm gonna probably have to, I mean, I joined the gym, but I haven't been there. Anyway, so, you know, tomorrow you're gonna to see me gonna have all these big muscles. Yeah. Muscles, bro. <laughs> Blessings to you. See you soon. Thanks for tuning in.